There are two sides to life. There is the fear side, which is in human mind. And there is the faith side. And I'm asking you today to live by faith. It says in Genesis 26, verse 24, Fear not, for I am with you, and I will bless you. People meet with all kinds of changing conditions. Sometimes a change is quite unexpected. It'll come in a moment of time. It is often unwelcome, and it may be something that brings up fear in human mind, even anxiety. Should it seem that some good upon which you have come to depend upon has been taken away from you, know that you can have faith, a God-given faith, to know that when one door closes, another opens. I have seen this so many times in my life. There have been so many times that I have stood and stared at a closed door and uh, shed tears over the closed door. And when I finally picked myself back up again and turned around, I saw big, wide-open doors that were before me. Now, I won't say that this comes instantly. Uh, sometimes it takes a while. It takes a while before we realize maybe we are so blind to it because of the shock of the closed door that we can't see our new good. But rest assured, that good is there. Rest assured, it is God-given. Rest assured, it is rushing to you. There are, of course, changes that we often elect to make. Sometimes that doesn't make them any easier. We still, as we face the actual change, we wonder, what in the world am I doing? Am I doing the right thing? This is when we need to know that with God, we go to meet our good, and that God has already prepared the way before us. In any time of change, let's hold to our faith in God and in God's unfailing good, and know that we can take charge of our human thoughts, our human feelings, our human emotions. And we can meet changing conditions with God-given faith and God-given courage. I pray today that you have new faith. I pray that you have new courage. I pray that you have new hope. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.